So there's many situations where you might have an overloaded bill of materials or an automation that has suppressed some geometry or some features within a model. And the, the quickest way to clean this stuff up um, for a release of something or to prune something out to remove things you don't need is to actually do the uh, uh, delete suppressed uh, function. If we take a look at that, we have a table option of this. I'm going to do, uh, let's table model delete suppressed. And if we look at the requirements on this, it, um, it only requires kind of the item name to process. So, uh, for example, if the, if, if we come in and we say, you know, something I'm going to, I'm going to, um, let's say suppress this component that's in here. And we'll also maybe do the voice coil, suppress, uh, any of the, uh, the children relative to that. And let's also suppress this screen, but let's go ahead and keep, uh, keep the gasket and let's just dig a little bit deeper here and go in and say, I want to get rid of the features that are associated with this grill. So let's assume for a second that the geometry that I'm suppressing here has been kind of just, uh, suppressed by a pro program or something, and it's not relevant, uh, really relevant to the design, or we're trying to just simplify, uh, the design in some way. Like for example, we have a routine that turns off all the rounds and all of the parts. Uh, as an example, um, you know, if you're if you're that well structured, so I've got I've got several components here that I've kind of come in and modified and and adjusted at the assembly level as well as the component level, and let's go back over here to nitro cell. And the only thing we really need is a table that has item name in, in it as the uh, as the title or the column title here. So I'm gonna create a table with a control T. We're gonna tell it has headers. Now, if I wanted to be really generic. I could say, just go do everything. So just a big old wild card. Um, but I'm going to start off with, uh, let's go process the assemblies first that are in session. So if we go and we run this as, oh, we have to give this a name. So the table name in this particular case is my table. And then let's go put in the table reference here, TBL colon my table. And then let's go initiate a regeneration command just to update the uh, model. So if we run this, you'll notice that uh, it has gone in and um, uh, deleted those components that we had uh, referenced there. Uh, but if we take a look at our, our features, like we still have some features that are, are still here. So um, we can see that gasket is still kind of uh, in place. And we also see that we have a pattern of holes that's currently um, still active. So if we come in and we say, okay, let's just do everything that's in session. So any model, scan any model that's in session, remove any components or features that are suppressed. And when we run this, you'll notice that just that quickly, uh, it has uh, purged all of that uh, information. And if we take a look at our screw down here, you can see that those rounds have been removed. So um, this is just a, a very, very handy uh, function for kind of cleaning up models prior to release, uh, especially if, it, if you're um, starting off with like an overloaded bill of materials that, that, uh, things are suppressed and you're turning them on, or you have, uh, components that have, um, features that are being turned off with a pro program or something and just cleaning them up, uh, to remove the chances of the model being thrown into a different state later, just quite handy.